Hi there. So why did we choose to make a video on GRE waivers for management information systems? Well, for starters, MIS is a STEM course. In other words, although this is a management course, to get into this program, you would require a degree in IT. And many universities still insist on having a GRE or GMAT score for their admissions. So what if you have a low GRE score? Well, no worries, because we found some top targetable universities that you can get into for an MIS course without a GRE score. But first, let me run you through the criteria that we've considered while shortlisting these universities. For this video, main criteria that we've considered is a GRE waiver. For a comprehensive list of universities with low fees and high ROI for an MIS in the US, check out the video we've linked in the iCard. With that said, let's move to the first university on our list, which is the DePaul University. The DePaul University offers GRE waivers for an MBA in MIS. But why should you choose to go for DePaul University? Well, for starters, DePaul was ranked number 35 among MBA in MIS programs in North America by Ed Universal. The median reported salary for MBA graduates from DePaul was $85,000. And lastly, if you choose to study there, you will be studying in the heart of Chicago's business district, where major tech companies and accounting firms are just steps away from the campus. Sounds superb, right? Check out more details of this university on your screen right now. Feel free to take a screenshot. The next university that offers GRE waivers for an MIS program is the University of Illinois at Chicago. The reasons why University of Illinois at Chicago is a great choice for your MIS is because they not only have a fast-paced and flexible curriculum, but they also provide an OPT of 12 plus 17 months. The MIS program over here allows you to customize your education to suit your career goals. What's more, a whopping 85% of 2019-2020 graduates secured full-time employment within six months of graduation with an average starting salary of $80,000. So go ahead and check your eligibility through the GRE waiver application provided by this university. Check out more details of this university in the next slide. The next university that offers GRE waivers for an MIS program is the University of Houston. This university is a great choice for many reasons. For starters, you get a chance to build a powerful network in Houston, a key city for oil and gas companies and home to the biggest medical center in North America. Houston is a global business leader that is home to dozens of Fortune 500 companies. And here you'll find data industry opportunities from healthcare and energy to business, finance and the government. Also. The Rockwell Career Center at Bauer gives you access to a dedicated team of career advisors who will provide you with the resources and coaching you need for the next steps in your career. And while there is a GRE waiver for this university, a competitive GRE score can definitely increase your chances of getting in. The next university offering GRE waivers for MIS is the Iowa State University. The MSIS program is designed to provide you with a strong set of technical skills along with a broad background in business that will enable you to develop and manage a full spectrum of IT projects. Also, this is a STEM designated program, allowing international students the opportunity to extend their OPT work permit to up to 36 months. And lastly, the graduates of the batch of 2019-2020 secured 100% employment within six months of graduation. Check out more details of this university in the next slide. Next up, in the list of universities providing GRE waivers, we have the Carnegie Mellon University. Why is this the best option? Well, to drop some stats, the US News & World Report has ranked the Heinz College at CMU at number one in information and technology management since 2001 consistently. It is a truly global institution, with recent MISM classes having representatives of 31 different nations. CMU also is the birthplace of autonomous cars, AI and technology that has transformed our society. Lastly, as many as 35% of the graduates work in IT firms like Google, Microsoft and Apple and 18% in consulting firms like EY and Deloitte. The average starting salary for graduates is more than $100,000. Check out more details of this university in the next slide. Before we move on to the next university, I would like to highlight a fresh feature that has been added to your kids' free University Explore tool, shortlisting universities for GRE waivers. That's right, you can now also check if the course and the university you're interested in is waiving off the GRE or if the GRE is an optional requirement for it. Don't forget to try this free tool out, link is in the description below. And now we come to the best university on our list, the University of Michigan. This university's business programs are among the best according to US News. This university is a popular choice for international 
international student with a diverse community. You will get to learn from the best faculty members and become the research assistants. You will have access to high-end labs to facilitate research work. This university also provides excellent placement programs after course completion. The employment rate over here is 79%. And graduates from this university have secured jobs from Amazon, HCL Tech and IBM to name a few. Check out more details of this university in the next slide. And that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, then please hit the like button, share it with your friends and comment down below what other videos would you like to see from us. Don't forget to check out the updated free University Explore tool linked in the description below. Next video dropping soon. Until then, stay tuned for more. Good luck aspirants.